Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Cassette Piece. Last time we left off, we finished up the fun house, if I remember correctly. Did I actually buy Hello? the prize, the attraction pass from you? I already owned. Or the red one is what I need. I was looking at the pink one. No, we did buy it last time though. Cool. Alright, just wanted to make sure we bought it. We are good. Uh oh, drop zone, please. Poor drop zone. Guess that ride just failed a safety inspection. Do you think we'd walk it across walk across it like this? Sorry, I just woke up, so uh Yeah. Cosmic zone sounds pretty fun. Can't help but notice that you're hanging out back here. Um Was there a treasure chest over here that required a uh Was there one that required a, uh, battery? I don't recall seeing one that required a battery. Yeah, hmm. But that was cheekily hiding back there, so... Maybe it wasn't supposed to come all the way over here. Oh wait, no, there is, there is one up there. There we go. Wow, that's... quite a trek. There you go. One prize ticket is my reward. <laughs> I wonder if I'm going to be able to do anything with the leftover ones of these. Possibly. We'll see. Get up there. Oh, I'm completely out of stamina. I was like, what? what is happening? That would be it. Alright, the Cosmic Zone. Um... This reminds me of about six different nightclubs I've been to. It all smelled worse than this place, to be fair. Oh god, yeah. Especially during near time. Probably smoke everywhere and everything. Okay. Hi. Ooh, we got timed things now. There's a all seer up there. Minor tum. I have melted you both. Okay. Fortunately, they're gonna get. Yep. Contact damage. Uh. Double slice. Sure. I'm gonna take a bunch of contact from that, but it's fine. Boom, boom. At least you're dead. <laughs> Yay. There we go. Probably should have caught one of them, but uh, it's fine. Hey, Last Rites. Last Rites is a, uh, is an interesting one. Uh, I'm gonna unequip it though. <laughs> Cause uh, I don't think I have a really, really good way to fill their thingy up. So we have two different directions we can go. Let's go over here first. Hi. Okay, one by itself. Now this is a way easier way to catch it. Good. Alrighty. And I'm going to record with you. I have two ferrochrome tapes, so we can just catch you like that. And then if I do an energy shot, I don't think I actually take the, uh, contact image, because I don't actually make contact. Bang. Alright, we should be good. Yup. 100%. Come, join the team, Minertum. You seem pretty cool. Minertums were once novelty automatons. Designed to entertain guests at the theme park on some unremarkable parallel Earth. Long outliving their creators, they have since gained a mechanical sentience of sorts, and now look to sail the stars like the space rockets they resemble. Well, I hope when you evolve, I can make that happen. Low speed, but very high melee attack for... a baby. Huh. Okay. You might be interesting. You learned gasoline spray, congratulations. Okay. Charlequin, leave me alone. Okay, fine. You wanna die? You're gonna die. Oh, hey, it's Ben Vader. Always liked Ben Vader. They look funny. Poor Charlequin, with the no HP. Just gets absolutely annihilated. Bye bye. Multi-shot? Eh, 
sure, you can keep it. All right, so we have a battery, and we have a box. Don't know what the box would be for. Uh, battery, I mean, I don't really know what that's going to be for yet either. Aha. Well, that is interesting. Uh, so I'm guessing I need to grab that battery and bring it with me. Oh, I can't flip it back now. We are just on this version of the world now, huh? Interesting. Oh, I guess the battery's still over here. Yeah, because it was on a higher platform. That makes sense. Whoop. I did not manage to save myself. There we go. Wee. Oh yeah, doing my little my little cheesy strat that I did where you hold something over your head and it helps you grip a, a like cliff. That was always a fun one. Lunar key. Cool. Okay, so that place is done. And if I go back in, yeah, like I don't know what those uh, boxes there are for. Or that box. But we'll see. Let's see, we still have to evolve Charlequin, and then I have one other thing I need to evolve, right? I think. I think we have one other thing I need to evolve. And then uh, I have um, my friend that I just got that's sitting in storage, so. Uh, I don't know if Hauntum evolves. It might. Scarlet Teeth is clearly done. I'll probably replace Lilligator with uh, my new friend next. Can I get over here? Yes, I can. Okay, so let's grab that battery and get up here. I don't think there were timed buttons before, were there? I think timed buttons are a new thing, but I might just be misremembering. I don't recall it. I th feel like I would have remembered purple buttons because it's my favorite color. <laughs> These poor things really just never stood a chance. Poor Riptera is just too good at being an assassin. Uh, I'll just slice. There's no point in using plastic knife. And then I can just energy shot the Charlequin just in case it doesn't die. But nope, we are good. There we go. All right, one more level, and, and uh, Charlequin will will rank up. Alrighty. Okay, there's a key over there. Oh, it was not fast enough. Okay, we're fine. Um, there was a treasure chest back there. Where am I even going? I, oh, I don't even know. I'm so far away at this point. Okay, wow, I really did have to bring it all the way over here. I was like, is this where I take it? <laughs> it sure is. All right, cool. All for a prize ticket. I mean, I've already gotten all of the thingies now. Well, there's the lunar door I need to make it to. Oops. Oh, hey, it's a Brax suit. I was gonna say you're tanky, but not in the face of uh, Riptera, you're not. Bum, bum, bum. Or I guess Brax suit might not be tanky, but the evolution is because I remember using it a little bit. All right, so this just links me back over there. I'm gonna see what's in the door because I know I have this key. What do we got? Lunar door. Uh-huh. Oh, no. Why did you have to show up, you little bastard? Ugh, I hate Sardegrade. It's so tanky. It's so incredibly tanky. God. Always a pain when I run into one of you for a random battle. At least you can't buff yourself, because... 
Yeah. Haha. Uh -huh. So many hits. Yeah, I mean, if I was gonna use, like, a tank besides Blossom Maw on the team, it, it would have been a starter grade. It's just too stupid. It's way powerful. Alright, what do we got here? We. Uh. Okay. That's a thing. What's over here, though? Apparently nothing. We probably turn this at some point to uh, create a different pathway. We. Okay. I thought there was something over here. It must have fallen off. Okay. Nailed it. Wasn't even scared. Alright, so what do you give me? Solar key and retribution. Cool. So now we just gotta get back out of here. Which, uh, shouldn't be too bad. Don't think. Yeah, there we go. Hi, Charlie Quinn. Hey, Binterloper! Good old Binterloper. Another tanky one. <laughs> it's nice getting to see all of these uh, old cassette beasts and stuff again. I do wonder where we're going after this. Like, once I finish the three attractions, is Gwyn gonna have, like... Is Gwyn gonna join me and we have, like, one final dungeon where I have to defeat, like, some other kind of boss? Or is this it? I would be surprised if this was it. I think we've nearly seen all of the cassette beasts that are new in this, though. Um, once I get all of the evolutions, at least. Automatically raises your melee stats and ranged st attack stats when an opponent is defeated. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Yeah, you can you can have that. That's pretty good. Um, we'll get rid of like parry stance. Yeah, that's that's a pretty good sticker. Good old bloodlust. All right. Whoop. And bop. Hey, that's how we get that treasure. Cool. We. And then up this way. Hello. Another prize ticket. Okay, now we made our way back over here. That's where I dropped off the thingy. And whoop, that wasn't enough to get over there. Was enough to get right there though. Damn it, now I've fallen all the way back down here though. Whoop. Whoop. There we go. Managed to save it. I'm glad I have that thing that saves me when I fall off sometimes. <laughs> it's making a lot of the platforming in this a lot easier. Boom, boom, boom. Keep, I keep finding myself just, like, kind of singing along to the music, I guess, a little bit. I can't help it. This game's soundtrack is so good. Okay. Charlequin is level 5. Be random. You know, I am just right here. The exit is right over there. I might as well just go back and evolve Charlequin and get my new friend. So. Ooh, okay. We're fine. We're fine. Everything's a okay here. All right. Boom. Camp. Yes. Uh, let's go ahead and put um, Lilligator away. And oh god, what was the name of it? Minertum. Minertum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Come on. Welcome to the party. All right. So now when we rest. Uh, Charlequin will evolve. So, do you believe it's true? I believe what? The big gateway you found can take us home. I have to. I resigned myself to being here forever. It's a little scary to have to start thinking of a future for myself. Alright. Yes. And the clown's purpose is to terrify. <laughs> Frogliacci? Okay, it looks interesting. It's not that terrifying. 
It looks a little doofy. It looks a little doofy. I expected like some sort of horror monster. Fugliachi's body is something akin to a ballistic cannon. His face is merely a cover to the cannon's bar barrel, which is able to fire objects with a terrifying velocity. Okay, cool. So, yeah, we can use you on the team. Because you have high ranged attack and stuff, so, um... Let's, uh, see about editing you, possibly. So, currently you have spit. I, I don't like prismatic. I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of that. Random joke, it has no effect. Uh, I'll, I'll keep it, just because it's funny. Here you go, you can keep bad joke. Inflame, we'll move there. The target flammable. And multi-shot. Yeah, all those are fine. Let's uh, see if I can give you anything interesting now. Acorn mortar. <laughs> Battery, berserker, bone cannon. Copy that, copper chop, crossfade. Dual wield, use the next move in the list twice in succession if you have enough AP, firewall, guzzle fuel. Guzzle fuel is interesting. Hot potato. Oh god, page one of five. Pustule bomb, rapid fire. So one target multiple times. We can give you rapid fire. Although it is very expensive. Self-destruct, superheated fists. Uh, self-destruct. Uh, roll again? Just to automatically use another move at random at the end of the turn. I'll give you roll again. There you go. Enjoy, Fragliacci. I don't understand the joke behind that one. Almost all of these names are some kind of, like, pun, joke, or reference to something that I usually don't know about. Like, Spring Heal. Which, uh, was cool to have a comment explaining that. On, like, the first episode, because that is not something I ever would have realized on my own. So... There we go. Hello. Oh, I meant to run into you. Oh, I did run into you. Okay, cool. Totally planned, then. I wonder what Gwen's cassette beast is going to be. Like, what what would it even be? I would guess Frogliachi, honestly. Or, um... Uh, Char... Ch Ch Charlequin. And then, I, and then I can evolve it into whatever I want. Would be my guess. Icicle dart? I'm <laughs> good. Shooting star? Yeah. I still remember the, uh, what was it called? The, the, like, crazy, like, super fast ice type that I had that had icicle dart. What was its name? Still don't know how to get this. Oh, there's a lever right there. That would be how I get it. Okay. I'll see her. You go bye bye now. <laughs> and just an energy shot to do it. I would cut these out, but they are just so, so fast. The actual fights themselves. It would be me going through, cutting out like 10 seconds of footage, like 30 th times throughout a video. Oh, hey, lightning bolt. That's not a bad one for you. I mean... You can probably get rid of, like, Silicon Slash for that. Or Zoomies. Criticize. Yeah, no, let's replace that. God, my- my- my stuff is so awful, though. I need to... <laughs> I need to reorder your moves. Really badly. Um... So Lightning Bolt needs to go... here. Um, double smack, change spots, energy shot, change spots. Okay, and then Silicon Slash also needs to go down here. There we go. Oh my god. Sorry, it was it was bothering me, and I'm, if it was bothering me, I'm sure it was bothering someone else as well. Um, hi. Ba -da. 
Okay, another prize ticket. So we don't actually have the key to this. Um, where else do I go? Because I went in there, got the lunar key. The lunar key didn't give me like a sun key or something, right? Inventory. Yeah. No, we do have a solar key. Never mind. We do have the solar key. I just don't know where the solar door is. Oh, hey. Um, I was running around and we ran into a Galagor, which I don't actually have because uh, this is the start of great evolution, right? I want to say. Oop, no. I want to slice and smack. Okay, well that's cool. We'll be able to catch uh, one of these. I think it's the starter grade evolution, and I just never got it because I never actually got to evolve my own starter grade. Or it needed something special to happen to actually catch this one. Uh, ethereal tape. Yeah, I have a lot of these. Um, smack. Well, that's cool that we're going to get you. I always thought you were kind of a cool design, so it is exciting. Seems like this DLC is a good opportunity to just catch some of the harder to acquire cassette beasts. Bam, 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 bam. Start a grade that has evolved super intelligence. Its outer armor almost entirely covers its pink worm-like core, which is partially visible through its glass dome helmet. Yeah, look at those stats. Craziness. Super, super crazy. I do just like the design so much. It does look incredibly awesome. All right, Galagor. Bye bye. I gotta find myself a sun door. Ah, here. Never mind. There it is. <laughs> I just never came over here. I never went to the right. All right. Well, that's uh good. That took no time at all then. Oh, leave me alone, Charlequin. Of course, once again, I do need the XP because I need to level up. If I want to see all of my cassette beasts. Bow, bow, bow. We'll get to another Archangel soon. Because I'm sure right from here I'm going to be getting the, uh... Whatchamacallit thingy. Uh, so that's just a shortcut to get back over here. So we don't have to do all of that again. I'll see her, could you not? Thank you. There we are. And then do one of these. I think you might be able to just go across those with um, the Bulletino ability, but I'm, I'm, I would be too scared I would fall off to actually try it. But it's kind of like how in Mario you can sprint across one by one gaps, basically. That's what I think of, at least. I think this will kill. Ow. Yeah. Riptera's are almost dead. We're we're getting there. We gotta be careful. Okay, Minor Tom is almost leveled up. Rapid fire. Did I not already have that on you? Do we have two different rapid fires? Or did I never put that on? I do, I do, I do have two different rapid fires. No, 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 no. Get get off of there. Bad. Oh, ow. Okay, well, at least the treasure chest is right here. I probably will go back and heal, though, before we fight the boss. I mean, eh, this could be a good opportunity for me to use some other cassette beasts, because uh, Riptera is now super hurt. So, you know, why don't, why don't we do that? Why don't we see some other cassette beasts, yeah? Seems like a good call to me. Boop -a -doop -boop. Red engine, ethereal tape, metal resistance. Interesting. We there we go. What? Oh, <laughs> it was. I actually flew past the screen transition, so it wasn't properly transitioning to me to the other side of the screen. That was funny. 
Um, I do think I only need a little bit more XP for Minor Tom to be ready to uh, remaster. I like how I constantly jump between remaster and evolve. Truly, truly amazing. And Stabby. Good. Alright, Rip Terra's down. And we're kind of close. But let's just go fight the boss, I think. We'll do it without Rip Terra. Oh, that's right. There's, there's not a faster way to get up here. So we do have to fly all the way back over here and do all of this again. Oh, all these Charlequins. I've murdered so many of the poor things. <laughs> So many of them have died by my hand. This is unfortunate. Launch. That is big damage. Bloodlust, and there's the stats up. So that's not going to be useful against the boss, but it is useful in, you know, these kind of fights. The Charlequins never actually lasted long enough for me to, you know see its uh, prismatic effect actually go off. Well, Minor Sun will be ready to remaster quite soon. So. No, Charlequin. Leave me alone. Red engine key. It's okay. It's okay. Don't... Oh, the door moved me. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. We just juke it. Haha. -ha! There we go. Okay, where is this thing? Hi, how are you? Raven, huh? Are your different names just the color you are? Because you're you're like a a, a black, and the previous one was uh, called Rose, and it was like pink. I'm gonna jump scare you. You're not gonna be ready for it. You are astral type, so we want to swap off of you. Um. Minor Tom would actually be the best thing here, I think, since you are Astral. There you go. Ooh, you did flinch. Good. Hit you with another jump scare, then. And, uh... We can hit you with a smack, specifically because I want the metal effect to proc on you. Which I think makes it so you don't get AP as quickly, which would be amazing. Wait, I thought you flinched. Or was that your flinch wearing off? Okay, yeah, it makes you enraged. Cool. Jump scare. Sonic boom. Uh, melee. Let's hit you with one of these. Shooting star. Ow. Yeah, see, we're gonna have a fine time doing- Oh, no, I energized you. Whoops. Go ahead and bite. Okay, you know what? Let's let's switch to somebody with a little bit more oomph, I think. About Hauntome. We can do some pretty crazy stuff with Hauntome. Uh jump scare again. Haunt. The user becomes a ghost and cannot be hit by attack after three turns. The tape breaks. I guess I didn't really need to do that. <laughs> I was thinking of the, um... Oh, hey, I, I dodged it, though. Um, I was thinking of the ability that, um... The one Captain uses, where it does that, Gambit. Um... You raise all your stats, but you, like, die in three turns or something like that. Oh, god, you have no good abilities. Never mind, this is not- this was not a good choice. Patooey! <laughs> 27 damage! <laughs> <laughs> me, me trying to use something different when I didn't actually prepare it? Bad idea. Let's go with Frogliachi. At least I know I prepared you. There you go. Ooh, nice flinch. It doesn't care, though. Is it getting too attacked? Oh, I'm still ghostly. That's right. Oh, wait. I don't want Frogliachi to die, though. Yeah, you can swap to whichever one you want. Um, I think I'm going to rapid fire. That did nothing. 
And it's energized now. And you're dead. Bang. Alright, ritual. Uh... Shit, what was it the ritual did? Uh-oh. Does it enable, like, some kind of crazy powerful attack or something like that? I mean, you're about to get that anyway. Jump scare. And lightning bolt. Zapparino, 81. I think you're... Gear shear. Ow. I think your, um... Range defense is way higher than your melee. I can't believe Hauntum killed Frogliachi. Definitely wasn't me, it was definitely Hauntum. That was really, really messed up of you, Hauntum. Burnal Engine Raven died, but Ritual brought them back! Oh, that's what Ritual does, that's right. Ow. Ow. Look at us actually having difficulty in a fight because <laughs> I'm using uh, I'm using my, my, my poo creatures. It's okay, we can fuse. Alright, that's actually a really cool look. Um, so as I said... Let's see... Lands crits if used after charge. So you, let's use charge. Bang. Big damage. Don't you make me guzzle fuel? Ew. Yeah, so you are just getting two attacks now. That's what was happening. Alright, now we battery. Boom. Good. And there's the self-destructs, but we're fine. Yay! <laughs> Hooray for using poo creatures. Brace for impact. Hits one target, uses the melee... Uses the user's melee defense stat instead of melee attack, also damages the user. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, no, equip that. Um... I mean, your melee attack is like the same as your melee defense stat, but it's better than like shooting star because your your range attack sucks. So, here we go. Got more fused material. Huh? No, thanks for saving the peer from Gwen. Nothing. Kind of expected her to come and say something, you know. Speak with Gwen. All right. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get out of here and go hit up our save. Um, did mine or something get enough XP? It did. Alright. Uh, there. This video's already went on longer than I wanted it to. But, uh, we'll just have to deal. Alright, let's rest. Um... I thought the monsters in New World were creepy enough. But the Archangels, like the one we fought, are in a league of their own. They well, spoke to us like it was a person. Like they're as smart as us, right? Maybe smarter? I like that there's one giant reality bending intelligent mon- That there's giant reality bending intelligent monsters living in the railway system that apparently lies under the entire island we live on. I guess I won't sleep easy tonight knowing that. <laughs> yeah, that's... That's incredibly fair, Meredith. Yes. Bam, 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 bam. The major tom, <laughs> minor tom, major major tom, <laughs> yay! Look at it, L look at it, and its stats kind of increased a little. It's very all rounded. Minor tums that upgrade their space rocket bodies can eventually advance to become major tums. Their large fuel tanks are filled with a powerful liquid propellant that can launch them in the low orbit, finally realizing their dream of space travel. Hey. Okay, so. I do wonder how many of the, uh, cassette beasts for the DLC I have at this point. Um, I think... Wasn't there another option I could have turned Scarlet Teeth into? Or no, it seemed like that was the case from the description, but maybe I have to do something different, like... Uh, maybe or maybe I have to do something specific, like teach it a specific move or something. We'll figure it out. By the, by the end of this, I'll just look up all how you evolve all of them and get all of them and see. But uh, yeah, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more. <laughs> <laughs>